Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Daniel and today I'm going to be talking about the placebo effect of belts in jiu-jitsu. So what do I mean about placebo effect of belts in jiu-jitsu? What I mean is when the instant that somebody gets that two-inch piece of cotton from their instructor, the very next session that they roll, they're a lot better than they were before. So I'm not talking about the gradual inclination of skill up to that belt level. I'm talking about instantaneously, they're a lot harder to beat. They're a lot tougher in the gym just from getting that belt. So why is that? Why does that happen? So in my opinion, I think that it has to do with two things that are actually related, and that is labeling and self-fulfilling prophecy. So labeling would be what I label myself, what other people label me, and then the interaction between those things. So when I am labeled by my instructor, by my peers, and you know everybody else as brown belt, and then I label myself as brown belt, guess what I'm gonna start acting like? Brown belt, right? So when I am pinned in side control, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm not acting like a white belt or a blue belt or a purple belt. I'm thinking I'm going to escape, turn the tables, go on the offensive immediately, and go for a finish immediately. I am thinking, not only, not only am I thinking of doing that, I truly believe that I can do that. And I'll talk a little bit more. Actually, let's just go right into self-fulfilling prophecy. So self-fulfilling prophecy is directly related to labeling. And that is, I make basically a story about myself and what I'm going to do. And then I enact it. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So this is, if I'm labeled if I label myself as a brown belt, and then I think, well, you know what a brown belt does? Every time he's pinned in any way, he escapes and goes right into an offensive cycle. Guess what I'm going to do every time? And I believe that I will do that, and I can do that, and I'm going to do it very, very hard. I instantly become better. And it's all, of course, up here. But the place that I see it, the place that I see the placebo effect happen the most is in the scramble. So in a, in a situation where two people are in a neutral situation where there is a scramble happening, one person is going to try a little bit harder and believe a little bit more than the other person. Now I'm talking about people of similar skill level. But that person, whoever believes more and tries harder, will typically win the scramble. And the person who does not believe as much will typically lose the scramble, like I said, of similar uh, skill set. So I used to say regularly, you know, belts are worthless. You know, it's just a piece of cotton. You know, you look at like Nicky Ryan when he was a, a purple belt and he could blow through almost every black belt. And you have uh, like uh, Nicky Rod. And I mean, he's smoking everybody and he's a purple belt, you know, and stuff like this. Like, well, what's the purpose of the belts? Well, I can say that from my experience, there is a purpose for the belts. And that is the placebo effect of the belt, receiving the belt and actually believing more that you have the skill and that can actually increase your skill in real life. So anyway, it was a short video today, guys. You guys have a good day. Put my we'll boots on and lace them up. Hard work, work. Got another day.